we're walking towards the uh, famous Jim Thompson house. You see that sign right there? Hey, Sadika. Why do people holler like that? So this is the famous uh, Jim Thompson. Now, that was a lady that, wrecked, that knew Kate. So this is the one entrance. This is just the museum that they put in. This is so different than before. This is a second lot, but the actual house is down here. This is a parking lot. Took to the driver. This is the yeah. This this area was. This was not even here eight years ago, that portion. But the home is actually right down here, and it's alongside a clong. You mean that's part of Jim Thompson as no. well? No, no, no. it's not. So here's the Jim Thompson house. Really beautiful. First portion. Oh. First portion is the. Uh, on the house. Yeah, there's a little yeah. spirit house. So do you got? Spirit house. Kate used to work over there in that building on that side. But the gym, this is actually an addition. The Jim Thompson house is right actually just behind this area. It's a, pr a really nice home. And then on this side is a museum. This was all built just in the last uh, six years or so. A museum, a place to visit, but the, the grounds are pretty big. Hey, Sadika. Just left that shop, what they call the silk shop, but it used to be on, on this side where you're looking now, but now they've converted this into the a restaurant. In the past, the restaurant was simply uh, sort of outdoor on the veranda. You'll see the pond in a moment, a little goldfish pond. But Kate was working in that section right there where I'm filming. When I came here back in 2000, I walked in there, so that was where the silk shop was. It was smaller, so we just left the, the uh, new addition to it and saw one of a couple of Kate's friends. But then upstairs they have uh, wedding parties and things. But this is not officially the home, right, Kate? This was not a part of the Jim Thompson house. The house is actually, you have to get your tickets and then start kind of over there. Look how beautiful this is. But it starts over there. You go through and you have a tour that goes around the back. And it has a few sections on the back side where you've got the gardens and things. You can see right through there. Very, very peaceful lotus, call them lotus ponds, is that what they are? This is not a little pond, this is just a little flower bed. They're some of the most beautiful grounds, and if you ever come to Thailand, please research uh, the name Jim Thompson. Google that name. Uh, I had not heard of him until I came over here, but he was an American who did a lot in Thailand. Ooh, and they even have a wine uh, case in there. Look at that. Hey, you hear me, huh? Okay, this is where they do a little outdoor patio, veranda. I used to also go upstairs and have coffees up there. I don't know if that's even open now. Uh, but you see the, the goldfish. Very, very beautiful a lot of tourists coming in. This may be the most visited property in Bangkok other than the uh, Grand Palace. This may be the most visited place, wouldn't you say, Kay? Mm -hmm. The people like they've got tour guides that take you through and they show you a lot of the artifacts and antiques that Jim Thompson collected. He had huge parties here um, and provided a lot of the silk for uh, some celebrities, world celebrities. At the time he disappeared in the late 60s, he was the most famous expat in the world, Jim Thompson.
they, well, this is a Kong, which is a canal. And uh, Bangkok used to be known as the Venice of the East because of all the Klongs. But the Jim Thompson House, we could probably walk along here, can't we, Kate? Yeah, we Runs along here. There's some construction going on. You can see these beams, these metal beams. I don't know what this is for. We're not trying to take a boat. Tell, tell them not to worry. Uh, but it's right along here. So this is the, pro the property of the Jim Thompson House where we just were. Uh, but in the past, this was all open. There was a, he'd have parties out here at night. He entertained people like Elizabeth Taylor, Jacqueline Onassis, uh, the widow of J JFK when she visited Thailand. But there was a, this was totally, you know, a different look. Now they've tried, they're trying to conceal this so no one can even see back onto the property. In fact, they've done an excellent job. There's no chance. But this is the Klong, and, and boats fly through here probably, how, how often do boats come through, Kate? Every, if busy time, every 15 minutes. Every 10, 15 minutes? 10, 15 minutes. And they've got these, you can get on the on the Chapriya River, the big river, take boats. They're called uh, boat taxis, is that right? Mm -hmm. And jump on them, and you can go up and down the Klongs. But they don't have as many of these. 